process assets introduction we can have a glimpse at some of the assets process yes So it is important to understand what exactly a process has. What are the limits of those assets it has? What are the significance of these entities or stuffs from a programming standpoint or end user standpoint? So this is an incomplete list of the assets. So the virtual address space, the single most important entity or we can say that the process itself is the virtual address space. It has working set. So working set is going to be part of the address space, reserved, free space, kernel address space, user address space. These are not mutually exclusive. None of these resources or these assets or stuffs we are discussing here, they are not mutually exclusive. For example, kernel address space can have both working set and reserved space and committed space, etc. So now let's see a demo in Process Explorer. I have selected SVN cache.exe. I can select any process for this purpose. So in the bottom pane of Process Explorer, you can see all the loaded DLLs. So these are the user mod DLLs loaded into this process right now. If I go to a view, a lower pane view, handles, I can see all the open handles. So these are the handles this particular process has. So each and every process has a different set of DLLs and a different set of handles. Although some of them are shared, we'll get into those details later. Now, if I double click on that process, I'll be able to see some more details about that process. Again, some more assets we are seeing, command line arguments, current directory, path, so this is the exe, a lot of different details. So these are the different resources it is using. So these are the threads of that process. So one of the main thing we need to understand here is all these different counters and data structures are inside the address space of that particular process. So all these things we are seeing is different manifestation of memory inside the address space either kernel or user so that brings us to the summary of this presentation so we have seen some of the assets the process has and we're going to discuss some of these assets in detail in coming presentations that's about the presentation now reviews comments and suggestions i would like to take from one single location so if you don't mind, I would like to follow this particular pattern for the reviews and comments. Unfortunately, it is not really useful to me if you update the YouTube comments as YouTube is just one way we publish content. Now, if you think you need more personal attention or have some in-depth doubt or need some more training, please feel free to follow these links. Also, please refer someone if you think they can benefit from similar trainings. All services are available online as well as direct classroom training. So that's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.